Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. We're going to continue working with matrix inverses and finally learning what they're really used for. In my opinion, what we're doing in this section is one of the most useful features in all of linear algebra. It's my preferred technique for solving a system of equations. Uh, and and uh, you know, when I'm doing circuit analysis or mechanics problems or whatever, usually you boil it down to a system of equations and you need to solve it. And I typically use the method that we're going to learn in this section to solve all of those equations for my circuit problems and everything else. I just find it so easy to do, certainly a lot easier than uh, row operations, which we've already learned how to solve systems using row operations. So let's go and take a look at the system of equations x plus y plus z is equal to 5, negative x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 2, 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to 1. And so this is just a system of equations. It looks kind of random that I wrote it down there, but it's very, very carefully selected. So let's write down the coefficient matrix that we have. 1, 1, z, uh, negative 1, 3, huh, not 1, 1, z, listen to me. 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1. And this is, you can think about it, this could be the A matrix. And then we have our unknown values, X, Y, Z. We collectively denote those as capital X, so that contains all the variables I'm trying to find. And then I, on the right-hand side, I put the numbers 5, 2, and 1. And we call this the matrix B. So we say AX is equal, AX is equal to B. That's how you typically see it written. Now this matrix, this 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, this happens to be the exact matrix that we solved in the last section where we already found the inverse. So I can skip all those steps because we've already calculated the inverse of this matrix. We just formed a system of equations around that matrix uh, in order to make this, um, this uh, problem you know, a little bit faster and also to illustrate the point. So from before, we already figured out that the inverse of this matrix was negative 1, 0, 1, negative 5, 1, 3, 7, negative 1, negative 4. This is the inverse of, of the matrix that we found from before. Now let me move to the other board and blow your mind a little bit. Not going to really blow your mind, but I find it incredibly useful what we're about to show here. What we have is a system of equations. A, X is equal to B. X is not a single variable, it's a column matrix of all the variables that we care about. This is the coefficient matrix, this is what's on the right hand side, the equal sign. Now in regular old algebra, if this were just an algebraic equation like 3 